Hey, hey, morning everybody. What's good? What's shaking? What's happening? I bet y'all ain't even realized that it was Wednesday, but that's right. I got that midweek medicine for you. Let's jump into it. It's Miguel. I'm, your, I'm that breath of fresh air you need when you couldn't get that breath. I'm that game changer you needed in the fourth quarter to go ahead and get that championship, right? So let's get with it. The last couple of weeks I've been talking about expect, expectations and how they have a negative and a positive uh, effect on us. And, and, and overall, these expectations with, with faith will take you to great levels. But I also touched on the team and what you expect from your team. So let's get into that team. A team is a bunch of working parts, or individuals working to to accomplish an overall goal, right? These individuals in your life are placed around you to, they should be there to pick you up when you fall. They should be there to push you. They should be able to help you along the way. You should, And likewise, you should be able to do for them. They should add to your life, add value to you to help you produce and be better and, and get better and reach all your goals, right? So I break that down into functional and non-functional uh, uh, team or friends, so to speak. Um, non-functional friends, these are friends that I, I call them, they're more so just acquaintances. They help you, you know, they help you some of the time. They're around, you know, but they might not be too dependable. Um, and even if they are dependable, they're dependable in the wrong areas, the areas that you really don't need people to be dependable in. But a functioning team, a functioning team is there from thick and thin, through blood, through sacrifice, through sweat, through tears. They pick you up. They slap you in your face when you need that slap in the face. Y'all might not always get along, but that's, this is what you need. They add and they contribute to you. My team that I have around me, my starter five that's directly behind me, and then who I got on the bench, they all add value to my life. And likewise, I do so for them. These individuals make me accountable for me without even them being around each one adds to the value of me as a man my financial area uh being a husband being a father becoming a speaker each one contributes one way or another and we are so linked up that we don't even have to talk on a regular basis but when we come back together we're on the same page we picking up where we left off and we, we banging people are understanding we clicking we linking and everything is moving forward and that's what that's what a team does um for example my brother he's he's home now uh on this 10-day break after graduating boot camp from the marines but the whole time he was gone he constantly the concept of him constant constantly inspired me to push to be committed to inspire you know to do what i'm doing and not waver from it because this is the things that he had to put up while he was in boot camp with the team that he was developing with those guys in his squad correct um each individual of my team make me better in one way or another and they make me uh, uh, push for they make me they contribute to me and then in turn i contribute to them it's two types of teams you know you got a team where everybody's working for one individual goal and they all do their part to to uh to make that happen and when one fails they all fail when one succeed they all succeed and then you have teams where each individual they're like-minded we all have completely different goals, but because we're like-minded, we are able to push each other and take each other to the next level. We are able to set aside what we need to set aside to help another individual when need be. I always say my success is not in the money that I gain uh, or the things that I have, but it's in seeing other people come up and do better and reach their goals. That's what a, that's what a team is about. That's how your team should treat you. You know, you... you uh, when you commit to when you commit to the name on the front of the jersey, uh, the name on the back of the jersey will be remembered. What am I saying? Plain and simple. When you have a team, you can reach whole new levels. Now, granted, you can reach your goals individually, but it's going to be twice as hard when you got your team. You got to use utilize your team. God places your team around you. They are a blessing to you because once again, they're like minded individuals and they help you see other areas that you never seen before they help you look at other ideas to help you reach your goals that you never would have considered that's utilizing a blessing and in turn once you when you utilize the blessing that god has given you he honors that and in turn you're able to pull back into your team the people that's around you that's what you want to do that's what real success is that's how growing takes place that's how reaching the next level seeing your passion come forth and your goals met that's where we at right um Sometimes as a team, no matter what, it takes the failing to help you see where you need to get get it back together. You know, uh, don't be scared. I always keep telling you, don't be scared to fail. But as long as your team is behind you, 
they're going to help you. They're going to pick you back up and they're gonna, y'all will be able to see what that failure was and y'all will be able to work to get back on top and to do the things that you need to do uh, to produce um, your goals, your visions, your whatever it is that you're working on, right? So I want y'all to take this and I want you to think about the people that are around you, the people that are in your life and how they benefit you. Are they functional or are they non-functional? Once again, non-functional meaning they around, they cool peoples, they good, but are they really pushing you to be a better you? And then you got a functional team that does everything to make you be a better you. You got that, that functional team adds to you. They they when you're wrong, you're wrong. When you're right, you're right. And either way, they are there for you. Y'all might not even like each other all the time. It's probably people it could be possibly people on your team that get on your nerves, but I guarantee you, if you look about their overall value to your life, they help you, they add to you, they push you. All right, and that's what we're looking at, and that's where we're going to go with that today. So, with that being said, I want y'all to look at your life, look at the people around you. Are they toxic for you, or are they an antidote for you? Are they promoting you, or are they demoting you? You know, my man Shane, he sent me something asking, you know, about uh, you know what I could do with the video, and surprisingly, like I said, it linked up, and it's just pretty much, you know, why some people feel that they can go to work. And, and they put their all into their job, but then you got some people that feel like they can call out when they want to or they can take a day off. The people that take a day off, that's not the people you want around you. They come to work just for a check. The people that never take that day off, they come to work for you. Who's coming to work for you and who's taking days off? Do you really want people taking a day off in your life when you're trying to reach new heights and new levels? So let's think about that, all right? So with that being said, we're going we gonna to finish this one off. It's Miguel. I'm here for you. I believe in you. You can do whatever it is that you set your mind to. Remember, change your mind, change your life. Take a look at your team around you. Raise your expectations. Bring your faith up. Go to God about everything, and he's going to lead you in the right way. So that being said, glad my struggles of yesterday can be y'all strength for the day and y'all push for tomorrow. Take that deep breath because I just gave you one. Uh, y'all have a good day, all right?